Let's answer some viewer questions. This person wants to know, I am a senior citizen. Is it safer for me to shop for groceries during senior hours or regular store hours? That's from Steve. Dr. Claire Wheeler, who we've been consulting with for so many of these questions, says best case scenario, seniors would not leave their homes at all and get groceries delivered. That's not always possible. She says if a senior really needs to shop, the best time to go is when there are fewest people in the store. You know, some of the major store chains say the benefits of senior shopping hours are that they limit the number of people in the store and it's when the store first opens, meaning it was just cleaned. All right, next question. If the situation with COVID-19 manages to slow down by summer, will there be a resurgence of cases when fall comes around as cold and flu season starts again? Thank you for that question, Kelly. So the answer we just don't know. Dr. Wheeler says it's time for us to move away from the magical 15 day concept and start understanding that this is a crisis that we will be coping with for a long time, weeks or months. She said this is very similar to SARS and MERS, and in those outbreaks, there were two waves, a second wave after things settled down. The bottom line is we really don't know what to expect in the weeks and months to come, which is why setting deadlines for this to be over is just is not helpful. And our next question, if Oregon has only about 400 cases, why is there such a shortage of PPE? That's from Jeff Peterson. Jeff, thank you. That is a great question. So basically, healthcare personnel, they use PPE every day as part of their jobs. Not all patient encounters require the use of masks or other protective gear in normal circumstances, but we all know these are not normal circumstances. So even routine patient encounters are fraught with the risk of transmission of the virus. So healthcare personnel need to use PPE for all patient interactions. Plus, there are supply chain issues. So as soon as people started getting scared, they started panic buying the mask. You know, they disappeared from store shelves, which are restocked from the same manufacturers who supply the hospitals. States are also in bidding wars to get these materials. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. We do our very best to answer them, and we have a special coronavirus Q&A show every night from 7 to 730.